Hello guys, my name is Jesper Nissen and in this video I will show you how to integrate your Backblaze account with Yax. Alright, so we uh, changed the way that we integrate Backblaze with Yax. Previously we used the master application key, but we had to change that because of the way their uh, API works. So now we are using the application key instead. So if you previously had a, a functioning Backblaze integration, then uh, watch this video and I'll show you how to fix it. And uh, if you never had a functioning uh, Backblaze integration, well, uh, just do what I do and it will work, of course. <clears throat> so you need to do a couple of things inside of Backblaze in order to get your integration to work. First of all, you need to go into my settings. You need to check that your email is verified and my email is verified. Uh, if it says no here, then you'll need to click on the link to send email to verify actually that, yeah, to verify your email. Otherwise your integration will not work and it will not work to upload files to your Backblaze account. And uh, the other thing you need to do is you need to go to billing and you need to make sure that you have a payment method that is active. Because if you don't have an active payment method, you won't be able to update, upgrade uh, or upload uh, files that will be public to Backblaze. So um, this is a very common thing that people encounter, that they don't have a payment method and then they wonder why it's not working, why are their websites not public, and this is because that Backblaze will not allow public websites if you don't have a payment method. So that's just a thing that you need to do inside of this window. And a, uh, yet another thing to consider is if you are inclined to create your buckets manually inside of Backblaze, they will not work by default when you upload into them from Yax because they will not be public. So uh, I encourage you to only create buckets inside of Yax. This is what we support. When you create buckets inside of Yax, then they will be public by default. So don't create buckets in here, and if you do create buckets, then make sure to uh, you know, click on a bucket setting here and make sure to set it to public. Otherwise, it will, of course, not work. <clears throat> so with these things set aside, let me show you how to uh, capture the keys. So you need to click on the app keys here. And uh, if I had a master application key, uh, previously, well, I have a master application key, but <clears throat> that's not working anymore. So what you need to do is you need to add a new application key. So um, I can see I have an, an application key here. Probably made some testing or something like that. I can just delete this here. And then you need to click on this guy here, add a new application key. And name of key, <clears throat> it's really not something that's used for anything other than to uh, Back. This name is not something that's used for anything. Jesper. Back place. So, I mean, so that's the only thing that you need to fill in the name of the key. Create new key. And uh, I'll now copy the entire thing here. Copy this. And open notepads. Which. And uh, now I'm done inside of uh, back place. So now I can go to Yax. Of course, I need to click on Backblaze. So if you uh, have a functioning, <coughs> or if you have an integration already with the master application key, this is using the master application key. Just click Delete here. Make sure once it deletes, and then click Add New. And note the master key is not supported. Yes. Uh, so uh, select clients and. Uh, Name, I just always type yes.back place so I know what type it is. Uh, and key ID is this guy here. And application key is this guy here. Connect. And it should be working. There was no errors anyway. So I can go into my website. What I always do, is I, I upload, make a test upload. I have a website here that is obviously a test website. So I just click upload to Backblaze, select client, select account, yes, but Backblaze. And you see now it has all of my buckets. Uh, let's say X. Uh, let me make a new directory, test four. 
add and upload. Let's see what happens. It's now done. S3, US West, blah, blah, blah. I'll click on this guy here. And here it is. Not a very wonderful design, but um, I mean, there you have it. It works. Let's inspect the domain power of this guy here. Domain authority 51, page authority 31. So uh, yeah, that was the um, that was the integration part of uh, the Backblaze integration to uh, Yax. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I will help you along. Take care.